And hello everyone, Lights and Gear is back with another flashlight review. And today we have the newest light, or actually it's the first light from the company by the name of A Tactical. And perhaps not surprisingly, they're calling it the A1. So here we go with the A Tactical A1 LED light. And it's uh, been receiving some pretty uh, modest reviews so far. Uh, having not been on the scene for all that long and here's the instruction manual inside the little cardboard box and you'll get some valuable information in here uh, not a whole lot that it really says about it but enough that you need to know and also has um, some pretty good modes here to choose from which I'll get to in a second anyway inside the box obviously you'll get the flashlight and it's uh, wrapped up here and some uh, cutouts in here for the other accessories not too much but very modest here's a pocket clip already attached to the light and also in the box you have a USB cable uh, micro USB of course and a couple of spare o-rings so there's your box there are your cutouts and there are your accessories um, it has a USB cable but the flashlight itself is not USB rechargeable but the battery is and we'll get to that in a couple of seconds here in case you're scratching your head what battery okay we will get to that I promise anyway um, the A Tactical has uh, <laughs> forgot to put a little bit, little, little bit more light here on the subject um, the A Tactical has has uh, four modes it has low medium high and turbo as you can see here and it also has strobe and SOS the um, beam distance is up to 205 meters so that's not too bad impact resistant and waterproof it has an, an XPG2 LED which um, is a slightly older LED uh, which was popular several years ago but it does do a nice job with the smooth reflector of, um, of getting the beam out there distance wise so I think you'll be pretty pleased with that the working voltage of the light is only to 4.2 so you can only use an 18650 battery in the light. It comes with an 18650 battery, but if you don't want to use that one, you can use other 18650s, but you cannot use any other kind of combination of battery. You can't use a CR123 or a 16340 or anything like that. They will fit in the light, but if you but if you run them, you'll you'll blow the LED and it'll be goodbye within a matter of seconds. Uh, because the voltage is just too high. So that's uh, something you should be well aware of. Anyway, um, let's get to the flashlight right here. It's about a um, little over five inches long. So it's a reasonably good size, good pocket size. And um, you can see the side switch here, which does all the mode switching. And on the back is the regular tail switch. So it is tactical. So if you just press that switch, you'll get instant momentary light whenever you need it. Um, so rear switch and side switch. By the way, here's the LED in here and the smooth reflector. Let's get a little bit of a peek at that if we can. And um, the battery, it comes with a battery. It comes with its own A Tactical 18650. And there'll be a little tab right here so there's no contact between the, the spring in there. And there's also a spring up in the head. So um, this battery happens to be a teeny bit longer, perhaps, than some other 18650s. Uh, but um, so, in other words, this light will accept um, many varying lengths of 18650 due to the springs and all, but also because the battery it comes with. Um, I have found to be a, a tiny bit longer. Um, here's another uh, 18650. This one is actually unprotected but has the flat head. But you can see how much taller the battery it comes with, the A Tactical battery, is from this 18650. Um, this happens to be flat head, but this also works fine in the light. And um, this is a 2600 milliamp hour battery. So it's not quite as powerful as some of the other batteries that, well, well, perhaps that I normally use, which are upwards of, you know, 3,200, 3,500, etc. Um, but it does, a, it does an excellent job, obviously, of powering the light. And it is USB rechargeable. Did I mention that? Right here is the uh, micro USB port. 
So there it is right there on the top of the battery. And this is one reason why the battery is a little bit longer. Now I'll take a, now as I say, it comes with this um, USB output right here. Um, let me take another one that's a little bit longer, just for our um, demonstration purposes. So I'll uh, plug this into uh, an outlet. And plug this into the battery. And can you see this? A little red light. A little red light goes on and it's charging. And then after it's finished charging, a little green light goes on, and that's on the other side over here. So here's your red light, and there's your green light. So that'll be red until it's charged, it'll turn green. I um, put, a, um, um, an, um, put a voltage tracker up to, up to this recently, and I was quite surprised because it was actually putting about 750, um, it was putting about 750 into, um, into the battery. So I was very pleased with that because so it's uh, it's charging quite quite quickly actually. Um, anyway, so again that goes from red to green, and that's how you charge the battery. But anyway, let me take um, another battery. This um, this one has been drained a little bit, so I want to get the uh, most power out of it as possible. So I'm going to take a different uh, 18650 here. Mm, it's an Olight battery. Okay, we have we have light here, and let's turn off a little bit of light, and we'll talk about how the A1 operates. First of all, we are in low mode right now, and low mode is about 10 lumens, and of course, to turn it on, just just press the switch and then to change the modes press the side switch just give it one little press so we're in low and here's medium there's medium mode and then what happens is I'll tell you what it does if you press the button in succession you will go through every mode continuously if you stop on a mode and then let it sit for more than two seconds when you go to click it again it'll revert back to low I've never ever seen another flashlight in the world do this before I don't know whether it's whether it's good or bad or handy or convenient or inconvenient or what I guess that's up to you but it took me a, it took me a while to realize that's what it's doing so I was in See, now I'm in, um, I'm in medium right now. I was in medium before, and then because I let it sit, it went right back to low again. So right now I'm in medium, but if I click it again, it'll go back to low. If I keep pressing it, then it will advance through every mode. So this is turbo at the moment. If I press it again, it'll go back to low. So here we are in low. Here's medium, here's high, and here's turbo. And um, it's, it's pretty bright. This is, um, well, the instruction manual says 550 lumens. And as you can see, this is a pretty nice beam as well, with a very defined hot spot due to that smooth reflector. And if you check my uh, written review at lightsandgear.com, you can see those uh, outdoor photos which show it across the street, into a tree, and up into the trees, and so forth. So you can see that at my written review, and uh, the link is right there to check those out. But right now we're on turbo, and if I click it again, we'll be on low. Now if I did not hold it, or let it sit on turbo, and just flicked right through I would get to SOS in other words right now I'm on low so if I go medium high turbo and then press it again I get to SOS and then if I press it once again from SOS I get back to low now it also has strobe and the way to get the strobe is to press and hold the side switch and now I'm in strobe just press it and hold it for about a second and it goes to strobe and then if I press it again, it'll go right back to the mode it was in before. 
it'll have the, the the mode memory will kick in and it will go back to where it was initially but again to get the strobe just press and hold the button from any mode you happen to be in and then press it once again and it will return to the last mode so SOS is only visible if you click fast if you click quickly through every mode you'll get to SOS after turbo but SOS is not visible if you pause on if you pause on turbo then SOS is not visible does that make sense I have this written out in my uh, written review at lights and gears so if, if if my explanation is not making any sense perhaps you can uh, you can read my my written explanation of it and perhaps it'll make more sense but there is a method I suppose to its madness and uh, as I say I've never seen another flashlight do this before but um, anyway so you see I paused and then I clicked it again and it went back to to low so uh, that's that's how it does that but anyway um, I think it's a nice flashlight it does have some uh, interesting capabilities and it is mighty bright um, in today's uh, marketplace of uh, exceptionally bright flashlights sometimes something like 550 lumens doesn't really sound that bright since so many are 800, 900, 1000 and over but it does seem pretty bright and that's uh, due mainly to the uh, to the smooth reflector and to the LED they have in here and that concentrated beam that it does make it seem uh, perhaps a little brighter than, uh, than it might if it had a, a wider beam but anyway, this, um, this is a pretty nice flashlight. There is a link below if you'd like to uh, pick one up from uh, Amazon, for instance. And it's a pretty good price, too. It's much cheaper than a lot of the other lights in this category. Um, a, a Tactical is a new brand, and perhaps they'll come out with some other lights for us to take a look at uh, down the road. You never know. I think they probably will. Uh, anyway, to turn it off, of course, you have to uh, click the bottom click the bottom switch, click the tail cap to turn it on and off, and uh, the side switch to change the modes. Um, I'm recommending the A1 on the basis of its price and what it can do for that price and uh, so forth. So um, if you want to take a look at it, uh, click that uh, sales link and you'll get the opportunity to uh, pick one up that way. You can also visit, of course, my written review at lightsandgear.com for all that uh, information about flashlights, batteries, chargers, and a little bit more on the A-Tactical plus the outdoor beam shots. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you like it, and we will see you again. Thanks for watching. Take care.